Dentists in northern climates likely have one huge thing to thank for helping put their kids through college, and that is backyard ice rinks. Yes, every winter, kids ice over their backyards and invite their friends to skate up, grab their hockey sticks, and slap that puck in the goal. And of course, a true sign of avid hockey players is their lack of front teeth, because smiles are apparently like puck magnets. Now, one innovation is making it easier to create that professional-looking backyard ice rink, and northern dentists will likely not hate it. Here's Allie Ward bringing out her inner Zamboni to explain. Smooth ice is a thing of beauty, especially when you crave the scrape of skates on a gleaming cold surface. And Dylan Gastel has been on the ice all his life. His love for skating and hockey motivated him to invent a rink that almost anyone can assemble. He calls it Easy Ice. We have five foot giant pieces that clip together in less than an hour. You don't need a hammer, drill, saw, or any other tools to set it up. I wanted to learn more, so we met up in a wintertime Burlington, Vermont. What are these boards made of? So these boards are made out of the same plastic as NHL sideboards. It's high density polyethylene and can withstand a slap shot over 100 miles an hour. And then do they just clip together? Are they like modular like that? Yeah, so this board actually will clip right into this one. Takes about two seconds. All right. So if you lift it up, you slide it in right here. Probably turn that side a little bit that way. Okay. And push straight down. No way. Ah, uh, that's cool. That, it's that easy. The boards are placed around the perimeter of a designated space. These red brackets are clipped in, and then a sophisticated strap system is employed. So the brackets just hold it in place, and is that an anchor point for the tension? Exactly, yes. Okay. You don't need to hammer anything into the ground. You can assemble it on any surface, mm -hmm. even ice. And then these straps crisscross the rink, so the weight of the water on one side actually holds up the walls on the other side through these straps. We've engineered them to actually stretch less than military grade nylon. Tell me a little bit about your love of hockey. How old were you when you got obsessed with it? So I learned to skate when I was three years old and I've played hockey my whole life. On weekends, I'd have my friends over, I'd have my hockey team over, my mom would make us hot chocolate and French toast casserole. My best childhood memories are skating on the rink in my backyard. I realize that my passion is backyard hockey. I wake up every single day knowing that I'm getting kids off the device and on the ice. Manufactured in the US, the rinks are sized in increments of five feet and can be customized for anything from a small yard to National Hockey League regulation rink dimensions and beyond. Okay. We laced up and hit All the right. ice. Yeah. Stepping onto the ice. <laughs> It Ready? had been a minute for me. I have a feeling you might be but once I got comfortable that. on skates again, the fresh air and gliding this made me amazing. especially happy and inquisitive. Question, does the rink come with hot chocolate or no? Do you ever hold business meetings while skating? Okay, so how much ice is underneath our feet right now? So there's probably three or four inches of ice under our skates right now. Oh. Now, what about a Zamboni? How do you resurface it? You can lay down with the hose, maybe a 16th of an inch of water. Oh, wow. Finest layer, okay. and that'll refreeze into a perfect glass-like ice surface for the next morning. This is so fun. May you glide into your weekend nice and easy, like you two are on ice.